of your Ponce Nagy on your weaker side. Okay? And this is really specifically, again, some of these are high same side of the opponent. Okay? They're in this position, they're always trying to come over. Yeah? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a prospect. Okay? So, our strongest hand, the one that's normally on the lapel here, is coming on this side. And we're not trying to take the seat at this moment. All we're doing from here is blocking that. We don't want them to get their hand over. Okay? It might be that in the contest, they might have got over the top a couple of times, and as soon as they get in, you're struggling. Okay? So from here, your hands up, and you're in this position, and you're defending this side. Okay? That's what we're going to start with. Hand on here, I'm in right stance, my partner's in right stance. Unless what? You're left handed. Then you've both been left. Okay? So Uki has to be the same as Tori. So from the start, from here, in stance, you're going to come into this point. My partner's already taken my sleeve. They want to get two hands on, they want to get control. My elbow is down, and I'm keeping control of this space. Everybody understand? That's the first thing. Let's go. So, imagine we're both judo players, okay, and we understand the basics of grabbing hold of each other. Okay, so if I'm against somebody who's taller than me and I manage to pull my head down, that's bad. Okay, I don't want that to happen. If my head's being pulled down, okay, I'm going to struggle to throw my partner. Okay, I'll get a penalty or they'll throw me. Yeah? So, the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking a cross grip. So instead of the normal lapel, I'm taking the other lapel. Okay, I'm here. My elbow is down and my body is in line, so I've got a bit of strength. Okay, that's what I want. I'm not worried about holding on to this at all. Okay, I just don't want him to get hold of me. So as he's trying to throw his arm, yeah, I'm going to be on that side. Now, like we've talked about over recent sessions, we want to put pressure with our grip straight away. So I've got hold, and not only have I got hold, I've put pressure onto the shoulder. Okay, so he can't just throw his arm. Okay, because if I grab like this, he's still okay. If actually I'm putting pressure on and leaning into my partner's shoulder, he's going to struggle. Okay? So that's what I want. Same side of the partner, right be right or left be left, you cross to it, then you're in and you're leaning down on that shoulder. Everybody understand? Let's try again. Come on, practice. Yeah, if on and Aggie on our strongest side or our weakest side? Weakest side, okay? Or our other side. I don't have a weak side, but be my other side. Okay? So, just before we do that, okay, some of you, when you're cross gripping, you're trying to pull towards you and down. That's not what I want. I want to be hanging through my partner, going towards them. Because if I do that, he can't come onto me. If I pull in like this, yeah, he can close that distance and still grab hold. Okay? So I'm into my partner here. Now, I want to create some fear. I want my partner to be scared. So I'm going to start by attacking this side. Yeah? Now we've looked at previously, oh so from here. So just cross grip here, keeping that, then taking the sleeve and coming down. Okay? So we're going to start with that as a way of starting to create our reaction. Okay? So I'm going to be here in this position, leaning through my partner, nice and strong, my hands up, it's no good down here, so you will get hold. Hands up, then when you're ready, you're going to take the sleeve, you're going to come over, you're going to step, and then you're going to come through, okay? So, one more time. Here, don't worry about throwing yet, we're just trying to create a bit of danger on this side. So I'm in this position, nice and strong, leaning in, hands up, I'm taking it, I'm not taking a traditional grip down, I'm coming over the top, because I don't want to cut me around the head. So from here, I take that, and then I'm just coming on to this side. Everybody understand? Yeah? Let's go with that. But just a couple of little things. When I'm here creating this pressure and I'm going, I don't really want to close all this gap by bending my arm because I'm going to be vulnerable being taken backwards, okay? So if I am going this way, I still need to keep my structure and my strength through my arms, okay? I still need to be quite strong. and leading with my legs but controlling this distance. So when I'm in here creating this and then I'm going through, I'm not allowing him to crunch me up, okay? Now, just by being aware that I'm going to be trying to throw this way helps me, okay? Now he's starting to think, well, I can't leave everything on this side because I'm going to get thrown. So he's going to start trying to transfer his weight back across, okay? So we're here, like this. 
this. I'm cross gripping, I'm on this side. Now, I'm going to tiny little step and a little pull. That's enough for my partner to think I'm going to attack it. Now, he will want to right himself, so he'll want to come back like that, okay? So I'm here, pressure, 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 step. Yeah, now from here, I come in, and I go like that. Okay? So, from here, I've got my pressure, that's what I'm looking for, there. My step is really simple, it's a pivot step into a split step, or a split stance, I should say. Okay? So I hit, pressure, pressure, pressure. Now, when I'm ready, one, one, two, and then I'm in. Okay? Then I'm over. Right. To start with, just try and find the position. Have a play around. I've got this pressure, little movement, then I'm stepping into here. Make sure you're nice and upright. That's it. Everybody understand? Yeah. Let's go. All right. The steps are not simpler than what you're, you think it is. Okay? If I'm in right stance, all I'm going to do is switch back to right stance but facing the other way. Okay? Mm. My right foot pretty much stays where it is. Apart from a tiny little adjustment, it still stays in front. Okay? So when I'm in this position here, I'm blocking on this side. There, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not trying to pin this knee, but if I pin this knee, okay, I should be trying to go this way. It's really difficult when they're high, high coming over to keep that control, okay? So at the moment we're blocking, we're blocking, we're blocking, then we're switching, okay? Now, the reason why we're doing a split leg stance is because there won't be enough space for you to do a traditional turn, okay? And you'll end up at the wrong angle. If I was in like this, and I turn, like this, maybe a little bend, you see there's just too much space between me and my partner. Yeah, I'll never get any lift, and he'll drag me backwards. Just by going into a split leg stance, I manage to keep really good posture, and close that distance down, okay? That's it, it's really simple. So I'm here, in this position, pressure this way, then I come up, and then I'm in, okay? Now, once we've got that, our throwing direction is easy, it's just to the side. I'm not trying to go over my head, I'm not trying to bring my feet back together. Okay, I'm keeping it where I am. So I'm here, pressure on, down this side to get the danger and create the reaction. Then I step, and then I'm over the side. Okay? If you feel confident enough to go for the throw, go for it now. Okay, you want to still find the position. Just keep practicing the position. A little bit confused way to put your arm. If I was doing hip on and Aggie on my other side, so on my left side, if I was doing a traditional hip on and Aggie, I'd have to sleep and my arm would come under this arm. Yeah? When we're in this position, this arm is still going in the same position. Okay? There's no difference in this part. Okay? So don't try and go over the top. Some of you I've seen like trying to crawl through the middle. Okay? Keep this control from this side. Keep nice and strong. When you go, this comes out. So I'm here, pressure, pressure, there. Okay, look at where his balance is. I've got a nice bit of space as I come into, sorry, this picture there. So I'm here, I don't need to come on nice and tight. So I'm down, in, 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 then, there. Okay, in, there. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Now, once I have that, my throw, I've got quite a lot of power. Okay? Now, last point, we don't bend in the middle. Some of you are doing everything right, you're here, you're doing a nice pull, you come into this position, and then when you go to throw, you'll bend in like this. But if you bend, you'll run out of power and you'll still be stuck on your back. We need to rotate to the side. If you rotate to the side, they're going to fall off. Okay? One more time. Here, I've got my pressure. This side, and then we go over. Let's get started. Bring through the balance of head. The pressure with our hands is really important. Okay, we're here, and a lot of you are staying this side and then turning, then your arms in the way. You must get used to it coming back out. Yeah, so we're in this pressure here. You think some going. Everything's exactly.
exaggerated when I fall now because he's concerned about being thrown in this direction. So as soon as I switch, he wants to go that way anyway. Okay? Now, higher grades. You can play around with the finish. Okay, so there's a few different things we could do. Okay? Lower grades are when you need to stick to that split start to keep practicing it. But when we're in here and we switch, we've got some options. Okay? One option is basically doing like a rolling break with our partner. But what we don't want to do is start to fall. We still want to lift, and then when we throw, we roll over. Okay? Which is nice, that one, isn't it? <laughs> but you go with them, and basically you just guarantee that you land them on their back. You keep that control, you keep them stuck, and you can roll them over. Okay? We can also, once we've got that, we've got one, two, and we're here. If when we're lifting, we want to bring our leg back or come forward, we can, if we feel more comfortable. But what we can't do is bend to finish, even with our legs here, okay? So from here, from this position, we can come in one, two, split, and then come through to finish. Yeah, does that make sense? But this only works if we keep the upper body coming forwards, yeah? If we come to this point, we block everything we're here, we stick them to our back, and then try and step back, we'll get taken. What's really important, is that we continue pulling over our heads there as we keep making balance. Okay? As we come in. Alright, let's finish.